We're at Cowdray Park Polo Club for this year's Verve Clico Gold Cup Final between Jibai and Zakara, who will be competing for this prestigious solid gold trophy. Polo fans flock from all over the world to be here. And it's no surprise when there's such an excellent match in prospect, with arguably the two best high goal teams in the world competing. It's really the iconic meeting of the year, and you have people coming from all over the world for that specific day. And when the sun is in England, you are here at the best place in the world to uh, watch a polo game. It's great. Normally I'm down by the pony lines, so it's actually quite a treat that I brought my family, my brother and my uh, boyfriend and my uh, dad and my son have all come. So it's a lovely kind of family day out as well. So the Gold Cup is literally the best. You are the best teams in the world and you have some of the best players in the world. We have Dubai with the uh, 10 goaler Adolfo Cambiasso, who is regarded as one of the best players, if not the best player in the world, against Zakata. And they have another 10 goaler on their team as well, Facundo Piedra. So it's going to be an, uh, an amazing match. Zakara, you know, have come out unbeaten. They've just won the Queens, they won the US Open. So, um, you know, it's going to be a tough job for, for Adolfo and, and Gang. Over the last two months, Facundo Pires' team, Zakara, have been the form team. Rodrigo Andrade, the Brazilian eight-goal player, has come over for his first season in England, has been an absolute revelation. Um, however, you can never write Adolfo off. He played amazingly in the semi-final, and I think today you're going to see a, a polo at its finest. Let's take a look at how the two teams got to the final. Facundo Pierres, Zakara, played Talandrakas in their semi. Zakara got off to a decent start, with Facundo scoring a couple of early goals. Talandrakas were outplayed in every respect, and it was all about Zakara, with the whole team fighting hard. Matt Perry scored two in a row to make it 8-3. Facundo Pires, a huge drive to the front door, looking for Matt Perry. Lucas James tries to hook his cane, but Matt Perry from that range isn't going to make a mistake. Juan Martín Nero converted a penalty for Talandrakas to narrow the gap slightly, but Rodrigo Andrade was on hand to scupper any chances of an upset. Talandrakas mounted a bit of a comeback with a goal from Lucas James but Facundo Pérez wasn't taking any prisoners. Facundo Pérez on the attack here. Yorechi desperately trying to hook his cane, but uh, Facundo's made sure of that one. He's taken it through. That's a lovely goal. Nero scored a great goal, but it was nowhere near enough. Matt Perry put the game to bed, making it 14-8 to end a comfortable win for Sakara. A great team performance. All of us were playing great. I think today Matt had an unbelievable game. Lyndon too. Lyndon is helping us a lot. And Rodrigo is an amazing player. And, and, and luckily we are working good together. So that's why the team is doing well. But we have one more, one more final. So this is an important day and, and we need to be uh, at our top level on Sunday. The horses and the team, that's uh, the secret. Uh, we have a big group of good horses and and the team is, is, is good, you know, and when you have a good team and good horses, uh, usually the things go on your favour, so uh, we're doing good, I think, because of that. Dubai played El Romanso in their semi-final. David Sterling got El Romanso off to a great start before Nico Pierez got a couple back for Dubai, with the match looking really tight. Hello, on Sterling bringing that down the field. He's got uh, Alec White who manages to hook him and it's right there. George Amber is there to put it through. Alon on the attack for El Romanso. Pressure though and coming through Torreira. Lofted. Oh, that's a super goal. Dubai crept ahead in the second chucker and now it was El Romanso playing catch up. With the game tied at 4-4, Cambiasso stepped up to put Jabai back in front. Adolfo Cambiasso on his own, looks up, fires it, it's lofted, it's there. 
Jabai were on fire, with Rashid Albawadi and Alec White chalking up some great goals as well. Sterling got one back for El Romanso, but Jabai were on a roll. After an incredibly close start, Jabai went on to win by an astonishing 10 goals. A superb performance with Adolfo Cambiasso, the man of the hour. Happy to be in another final. Uh, I remember the first time I came to England was 1991, which I, I won the Gold Cup. And it was a long time ago. So being 20-something uh, years back and, and being in another final is, is, uh, is nice. Actually, I didn't feel like I was playing well until today. Uh, the years pass and the motivation is difficult to find it. Uh, but always the Gold Cup makes you try to get there, so I'm there. I think uh, the way we play today, we have a chance. Uh, if we don't play like today, we don't have a chance. But the way we have a, the way we play polo as a four-man team today, passing the ball, running, I think we do have a chance. The fields here at Caudre are looking magnificent. But it's not just for show. With pony power a good 80 to 90% of the game, it's important to keep the ground in top condition. Like the 10 goal players, these ponies are at the top of their game. This match really is a clash of the titans, with the legendary Cambiasso for Dubai going head to head with Facundo Pierez. With the crowd filling up the stands and the match about to begin, it's time to hand you over to our commentary team. Welcome everyone to Cowdery for the Verve Clique Gold Cup of 2013. Dubai against Zakara. Dubai lining up at one. Rashid Al Bouadi, two goals. At two, Nicholas Pires, seven goals. At three, Alec White, three goals. And at back, Adolfo Cambiasso, ten goals. Zakara. At one, Facundo Pires, ten goals. At two, the patron Lyndon Lee, one goal. At three, Rodrigo Andrade from Brazil, eight goals. And a back, Matt Berry, three goals. So, Chris, we've got a fabulous match in prospect here. Who's your money on? Uh, well, I'd like to see Dubai win it because, obviously, Sakara have won the, the Queen's Cup, but these are the two best teams. Whoever is strong on the day out of Cambias and Facundo, I think, is going to nail it. Here comes Facundo, but he can't keep it. Well backed up there by Lyndon Lee, but he couldn't lift it either. No, it's Nico Pires for Dubai, reaching out there, turning that ball upfield. He's got Adolfo Cambiasso in his slipstream. Facundo tries to do the steal, but Cambiasso's come away with it now. Adolfo Cambiasso coming downfield at 35 miles an hour. Facundo's coming in hot pursuit. Cambiasso just hooks back here. Now, what's he going to do with it? He's looking for room. He's going to go straight past Facundo, look at that, that's horsepower for you. And we're going to have our first score of the afternoon, courtesy of Adolfo Cambiasso, that was brilliant. Well, he's uh, asserted his authority on this game straight away. You see that the younger players there, Nico, Facundo, they just went over the ball starting off. There's a, a lot of tension, a lot of built-up tension before these games, big games. Adolfo's been here more, more times than we've had hot dinners together, Felix, and that's why he pounces through the right time. He's really put his stamp on this game now. Ball's back in play. Now Zakara, they need to respond. Facundo's there, plays the little open backhand. Who's the first to adjust? Andrade. Oh, 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 clever play. Takes Nico Pires out of the game there and picks up the ball. Leaves it behind. Matt Perry can't get a hold of it. And it's uh, Adolfo Cambiasso now, just waiting for his team to get upfield. Here comes Andrade to apply the pressure, though. Trying to get in and, and take Andrade out of it is Alec White, the three-goal Australian. But Adolfo's got plenty of time to just turn it around. Now he's looking to see where his forwards are. Alec White's there soaking up. Uh, in fact, that's Nico Pires soaking up Andrade now. What can he do with it? Andrade all over him like a cheap suit. There's the pass to the front door. Oh, Facundo's done a steal. That was brilliant. Facundo. Now, what can he do with this? He's going downfield. Andrade's getting in a position ready to receive the pass. That's a beautiful under the next shot. And Andrade's got the run on them all. And he's gone straight past Gambiasso. And Andrade coming towards goal. Oh, that's superb from the eight-goal Brazilian. 
Yeah, that was well read there. You saw Facundo, he takes a cheeky look left, sees where his wingman is, powers this ball under the neck. He has to go behind Adolfo's pony. If we see it on the replay here, look, he's just the cheeky look there. Deep neck shot there, or else he's in danger of hitting the horse of Adolfo. Sees Andrade's on that lovely thoroughbred, powers through, the ground is in immaculate condition, taps it once, twice, three times. There you go, it's an all-square game. What a fabulous goal. Well, hmm. here we go then. Still in the first chucker, Cambiasso. And uh, Facundo's waiting for him, hassling him, and is in his slipstream. Here comes Cambiasso, though. Oh, Facundo applying the pressure, and it's enough pressure because that ball is just going to roll out of play. And Cambiasso having a bit of a word with the umpires there, by the look of it. Take us through this, Chris. I don't know if he is, but look at that. He's got more reach than a sick dog, going straight between the back legs. There's Facundo, he just sort of nurses and shadows him and lets it go out. One goal apiece at the end of chucker number one. One goal apiece, there's the trophy they're playing for. It's a beautiful trophy, that, Chris. It's solid gold. Well, there is Cambiasso. He scored our first field goal, but uh, Andrade followed up uh, from the line out. Dubai going the long way here as uh, Nico Pires brings that ball across field. Cambiasso sitting upfield as Alec White and Matt Perry knock lumps out of each other. Now, Nico Pires on the advance here. Oh, he's left it behind him. And Andrade is able to turn very quickly for Zakara. Andrade with Alec White trying to hassle him, but uh, uh, Matt Perry takes him out of it. Here's Andrade. Andrade under the neck. And he's undercooked that, and that's gone wide. It's very unlike him to miss those. I mean, I've seen some of the neck shots. I saw one when he played at Zakara in the Queen's Cup. He has got one of the best neck shots you've ever seen. He just got on top of it a bit and uh, yeah, took, took the top left-hand side of the ball off. So here comes Andrade. Didn't really get a hold of that at all. Still in control, though. And, well, completely miscued that. And they've all ridden over the top. And suddenly, first to turn is Nico Pires for Dubai. And he's six, seven lengths to the good. Facundo's looking left and right. Where's the support here? Nico Pires in front of an open goal. It's bounced off the post. It's right in the danger zone. Nothing Matt Perry can do about that. And in the end, it's Andrade who sends the clearance way out to the sidelines and chasing that down is Facundo. Now he's unmarked. Facundo brings it off the boards. And I think that's bounced out of play. Oh, that was quite a save, Chris. Well, you saw uh, Nico Pires, look at this. Before that, we saw it on the, just before, just before he hits this ball, he's poked his stick at his groom for the spare horse, thinking that he's going to score the goal and go and change pony. And it comes off the post. I mean, that is sod's law, isn't it? It really is. Here we go then, and uh, Alec White trying to assert here, but Facundo does the steal, sends it forward, and we've got a whistle. What happened there, Chris? Well, that's very good umpiring there. You see Julian Appleby putting the ball down there. I'm pretty sure that's going to be in favour of Dubai, where Facundo comes in for a bump and a ride off there on Rashid, catches him late, goes for the stick. There's Nico Pires down the line. He's found the second player. That's a great decision from the umpires. Here comes Cambiasso with a huge drive. But he's put it out to the left. And Facundo very happy to watch that. What did he do wrong here, Chris? Well, I don't know. He just every everybody can hit a bad shot, and that was his choice to hit that bad shot. So he's mad with himself too. Now here comes Facundo with Cambiasso for company. Facundo on a runner here. Facundo absolutely flat out. There's the pass under the neck. Nico Pires there is to save it on the near side. Alec White plays the backhand. Lyndon Lee tries to stop it. It's Cambiasso who's come away with it though. Matt Perry trying to apply the pressure here. And plays the near side backhand. Well played, Matt Perry. Turns play once more. And that allows. Oh, Facundo coming through there. Matt Perry now picks it up. Matt Perry for Zakara. Can he turn this upfield? Nico Pires does the steal. A wonderful clearance shot. Really good safety play by the Dubai number two. It's up against the boards. Andrade's there trying to hassle him. There's the under the neck shot up the boards here. Rashid Al Boadi chasing hard here. But bringing that ball across here is Facundo Pires. He's got all the time in the world, he feels. Rashid Al Boadi comes in for the pump. But uh, Facundo sees him off, gives himself time, gives himself room, plays the under the neck shot. Rashid Al Boadi 
giving him a hard time though. Now Andrade and uh, Cambiasso fighting for it off the boards here. And uh, Andrade and Facundo, they're going to box and cox here. Andrade, big drive. Facundo's gone to the front door. He's being pursued here by Alec White, but Alec White has got no chance of getting to him. Facundo here. Albuad is desperately riding, but Facundo scores a fabulous goal. Brilliant link-up between Andrade and Facundo. Well, I think the, the pony power of this Sakara team is just really starting to show now. I haven't been that impressed with Nico Pires to start off with, but look at this pony of Facundo Pires. Just booms past. Great, powerful shot from Rodrigo Andrade from the standstill to put that right in front of him. Absolutely superb, and nothing Rashid Albuad could do about that. A really entertaining chuck up. Just the one field goal in it right at the end on the bell. And that gives Zakara the lead. Two goals to one. Chucker number three about to get underway. Julian Appleby. Bowling the ball in. Straight from the lineup. Matt Perry's come away with it for Zakara. Matt Perry opens his shoulder. Lovely lofted drive. Back in the fence is Nico Pires. Plays the near side backhand. Facundo tries to meet it but couldn't. And uh, Alec White's there for Dubai to assert here. And Alec White galloping towards the goal, the three-goal Australian. Can he go all the way? Oh, that's a superb goal. Well played, that three-goaler. Well, that's a really strong play there. Great um, vision from Cambiasso to just take the stick here of Facundo's look. Just takes the stick there, he sees his man there. Look, hell of a bump there. Facundo Pires, he just wore him like a cheap suit, brushes him off. Look at that, one, two, three taps. That's a really, really strong goal from a three-goal player against one of the best, or probably the best player in the world. Andrade for Zakara. Rashid El Boadi waiting for him. Nico Pires hooks him and doesn't get the backhand in, and that allows Matt Perry to come here. Now, Facundo Pires. Facundo taps that ball forward here's the pass lofted huge looking for Matt Perry Matt Perry's galloping hard here he's got company though in the form of Rashid Al Bwadi and Nico Pires now tries to gain control but can't has to watch as brother Facundo comes through Facundo avoids the uh, attentions of Alec White and trickles it through and that was amazing through all that traffic unbelievable that yeah, is a very strong uh, strong power play there from Facundo there's the, uh, the bad bump there, the umpires, they play advantage, advantage again, let it go through, let it go through. Yeah, it's a very strong goal there. I still, we haven't seen Nico Pires perform to his, you know, his nine goals in Argentina and rest of the world, seven here, but he hasn't performed to that yet. Well, he's got four more chuckers in which to show his true prowess. We've got a whistle from that play, and it looks as if it's gone against Sakara. Yeah, it's an unfortunate one, but it's one of those ones that happens from a throw-in. The ball pops out there, look, it's to a green player. Andrade's the one creating the foul there, he's got to let it go. Another black player, Lyndon Lee, just comes over the top, the horse kicks the ball back. Yeah, it's an obvious foul, don't argue with that one. But they're going to argue, they're going to get that pressure, keep putting it on, like the football players that surround the referee, just putting that peer pressure on the umpires to maybe give you the slight edge in the last ten minutes of the game. I would no. never do that. Of ever. course you no, would. No, never. No. Nico Pires. Boom. <laughs> Look at that. Effortless. From the walk. That's incredible. What a swing he's got. Yeah, no, he's got a great swing. We were only just saying a minute ago that we haven't seen him performing at that you know, Argentine nine-goal level or the, the seven-stroke eight-goal level here. Maybe this sort of 60-yard penalty is going to boost his confidence and get him right into this game because I know that he is a fantastic player and got a lot of flair. So... They line up once more. It's an all-square game, three goals apiece. And from the line out, here comes Andrade. Andrade galloping hard here. Alec White coming to try and close him down. But Andrade, under the neck, sends it forward across to Facundo, who's on the great Sheltie. Now, we know she is 10-goal as a pony, and he's got traffic all around him. And a whistle goes, and that should go in. Facundo's favour, shouldn't it? It should do, yeah. I mean, he really does. He makes a right mess of this. He shuts down. He's got a very strong horse. There's the confidence that he's got in the horse. Yeah, I think Adolfo is the one that sort of encroached on the line there. They let the uh, advantage go. I think the advantage is over now. He's put the ball back there in front of Adolfo, but they didn't blow the first one. They let it go, so that's why it looks a bit scrappy. But yeah, good, good umpire, great decision. In comes Facundo on Shelty. She's such a gun platform, it's so easy for him. That was brilliant. 
Not only can she, can she turn like a double-jointed mongoose, Chris, she is a gun platform for penalties, isn't she? Yeah, but look how happy she looks playing this game. It's great to see ponies that really enjoy playing, and it's always the ones at the top of their game. So it's good to see. Less than two minutes left in the third chucker. Four goals to three in favour of Zakara. And here comes Facundo on a different horse now. Bringing that ball forward. Andrade sitting behind him, but it's Nico Perez who's stolen it back for Dubai. Brings it out towards the boards. Facundo's there to hassle him. Cambiasso's in there watching, but it's Nico Perez who's come away with it. Chris, I think he's come alive now. Off his cane, look at that, that's beautiful. Right up to the front door, Rashid El Bwadi takes out Matt Perry. And it's Nico Perez bringing that ball to goal. Can he go all the way? It's a big cut shot. Oh, that's superb, but he's just overcooked it. That was unlucky. It's a great play there. We have seen him now, he's got the eye on the ball. Look at this, he takes the ball, bounce in the air once. Waits for the big drive, a half volley. I mean, that's one of the hardest shots to hit there at speed. There, you got Matt Perry. Oh, he's going to the cutter there. Hard ridden by Rashid. That's great work by the Patron of Dubai. He just towed that a little bit to the left. You'd almost sort of hit a, an open cut shot, I think, probably the better choice. But when you haven't got much time, you've got people thundering down your neck. I think the, the, he's obviously going to be confident to get that, but just pushes it wide. Well. It ain't over till it's over. That's the first half. Four goals to three in favour of Zakara, but it could go anyone's way. in the 2013 Gold Cup Final, and Zakara lead 4-3. With the field restored to its original conditions, courtesy of a crowd of over 15,000, it's time to rejoin the action for the second half. Second half underway here. Four goals to three in favour of Zakara, and straight from the line out, Facundo comes away with it, with Cambiasso chasing him down. Now, Nico Pires. So nearly scored a goal at the end of chucker number three. Andrade tries to do the steal, though, and has managed it. Facundo's gone upfield. Nico Pires and Andrade fighting for it. Andrade comes away with it. Now, Andrade, what's he going to do with this? Oh, he's left it behind him. Now, Nico Pires, is he going to play the backhand? Yes, he is, under the tail. But already turned was uh, brother Facundo. Facundo now turning upfield here. Cambiasso coming in to try and apply the pressure, but Facundo, that ball seems to be almost attached to the end of his cane. That's a beautiful pass to the front door, and Matt Perry's in the clear, and Matt Perry's put it through, and that was a, just a brilliant piece of team play by Zakara. And that pony of Andrade's on the far side, we saw with Nico Perez, the, the dueling one-on-one, -on -one, they're sort of sizing each other up now, which is great to see. And then Facundo just thinks, oh, I'm in range. If I don't get it, you know who's there? Matty Perry. He's just got this beautiful little neck shot, cool, calm, relaxed, once, straight through. He's playing so well this year, Matt, and it's great to see. Well, that was right out of the top draw. Five goals to three in favour of Zakara now from the line out. It's Cambiasso who comes away with it. Adolfo now, he knows he's got to respond here. Here he is on Boeing, flying down the field. There's the beautiful drive, and I don't believe it! Oh, it's passed off the post and gone wide. They might rue that one. When that was in the whole way, maybe a bit of leg spin on it as he hits this ball. You watch it, it's going straight through, and it just hits that bit of dirt here. Wank, and goes left. Yeah. Oh. oh, sometimes it's just not on your side. We've had, we've had Nico Pires hit the post, him hit the post, that's two, so it should really be five all, really. Here's Nico Pires, now can he make amends for that recent miss? He picks it up nicely, he's got Andrade in his slipstream, Matt Perry ahead of him, traffic all around him. Little deft back pass back to Cambiasso, who now asserts. Cambiasso coming through here, looking round him. He's got Nico back in behind him, he's got... Uh, Alec White ahead of him, can he get the pass? But Matt Perry really sticking to him. 
No, Nico Pires is there. Nico. There's the pass to the front door, and Cambiasso is in the clear, and Cambiasso plays the cut shot and makes no mistake that time. Beautifully read. It's a lovely linking play there between Nico. I mean, that was the that was the shot that I thought Nico Piero should have played down on the other end when he tried the under the neck reverse uh, backhand. But there's a little wristy flick there. Nice little level platform for Adolfo. There's that's how you hit a cut shot. He's his hips really rotated around, got his shoulder and head over the ball. Great shot. Andrade on his near side, but he's got Cambiasso for company. They're up against the boards here. Alec White for Dubai comes in, tries to do the steal, plays the backhand. Matt Perry couldn't pick it up. Nico Pires now for Dubai. Turning it across the field, going to try and get Dubai back on the attack here. Matt Perry trying to cover him. Facundo's following up. Oh, Facundo spots the loose ball, picks it up on his near side, under the neck, and through. That's a great score. Opportunist goal. Well, that was... Uh... A, a real sort of awkward mistake there from Nico Pires. He, he saw that he had Rashid behind him. There's Matt Perry coming on his right-hand side, and he thinks, right, there's the show and go. But he didn't really concentrate. When you're in that position inside your own 40-yard line, make a make a proper play, get it out of defence. But these guys, they, you know, it doesn't matter where they're on the field, they have that confidence. But when you make a mistake like that, you're going to be punished. And in a final, you can't really afford to do it. Ball's back in play, 6-4 the score. There's the first bell, 30 seconds left in this chucker, and Andrade's away. Andrade on a runner. He's still got about 20 seconds left on the clock. Cambiasso is coming back to try and stop him. Andrade's left it behind. Facundo's there with a the cut shot. Has it gone in? It has. Oh, 7-4 at the end of chucker number four, courtesy of that man. That was fabulous. Well, yet again, another great cut shot there from Facundo. Let's see if we can see it on a replay. Andrade, I can't imagine why or how he could uh, let this one stay behind. It's not as if the ball bounced that much. I mean, they're used to slight bounces. Look at that rotation of the hips as well. It's a really good shot once again. Perfectly in the middle. So, chucker number four ends. There's the score. 7-4 in favour of Zakara. Cambiasso bringing that ball forward, Dubai, they need to respond. There's a lovely worm burner of a pass up to Nico Pires, but it hasn't gone far enough. Alec White can't get to it, and Facundo plays the backhand, but it bounces off a horse. Here comes Cambiasso, that's a lovely drive. That could go all the way, you know, up over the 30-yard line. Facundo couldn't play the backhand, Cambiasso follows up, lofted, and it's through! One back for Dubai. They needed that, Chris. Oh, yeah, look, he's back on that little chestnut that he played in the first chucker. And if you go back to the two goals that Nico hit off the post, Cambiasso hit off the post, a silly mistake in, uh, in defence to let Fagunda have an easy goal. That's, a, that's three goals, and they're only losing by two now. So they should, realistically speaking, be one up or at least level. So uh, we, we really need Nico Pires to, to do more in this game because he's not shining for me at the moment. Cambiasso bringing that ball forward for Dubai. Nico Pires trying to soak up Andrade. But Cambiasso's foot loose and fancy free here. Facundo's there to head him off, though. Still Cambiasso bringing that ball forward. Nico Pires is there. We've got a whistle. Ooh. Now, who's going to get done for blocking there, Chris? Well, I think it might be Andrade here. Oh, no, it could be Facundo. There it is there. There's the foul. He's just gone right in the right of way. Umpires play advantage, see what happens. Then he taps it once more to the right. Andrade comes straight over the top. Once again, they've almost got to blow the foul now, which they do. They're inside that 60, so it's going to be a 30, maybe a 40, but we'll see what happens. In comes Nico Pires. He does all his penalties at the walk. All right, penalty three. And it's through. No messing. Beautifully taken, and nothing that the defence could do about that. Nice short swing. Doesn't really get out of the saddle at all, but I, they, these guys, they're so natural at hitting the ball, they just see a ball and they hit it, so they got the confidence. Facundo and Andrade couldn't get in the way of that. So, just a one-goal game then, with four minutes left in chucker number five. Ball's in play. Matt Perry comes away with it for Zakara. Matt Perry tickling that ball around. Backed up here. 
by Facundo. Quite nice to be backed up by Facundo, I would think. Now, look at this going across the guards. Just unbelievable. Just sublime. I, I just, that was just incredible. What an individual effort that was. Well, it's great, but you look at that pony. It just brings out the excellence in a player. Obviously, you've got to have the ball skills and the, and the mind game set to, to see what's going on against the best players. But that little touch there, the horse so lateral, so powerful, and just blast past, makes it easy for him. And when you're practicing at that level and playing horses like that all the time, this is what we expect to see, and we're watching it right now. And the rest of his team doing such a good job to give him a clear run. Pulls back in play once more and once more. Fagundo turns it upfield. Gambiasi is trying to come with him to play the safety shot, but he can't. And now Andrade comes through. Andrade sends the ball up to Facundo. Facundo is there on the other end, under the neck and through. Oh, oh, oh. wow! They are on fire now. Yeah, but that, as soon as you get on a pony like that. They know. They're, where's Fukuno? Now look, he's on Shelty. From that to Shelty, these boys, they're just looking, get the ball in the vicinity of Fukuno Pires. He's going to get there. He's going to beat everyone by a mile. And look at that. It's <laughs> possible <laughs> angle. It's great to see, though. But what a platform to hit from. I'm not saying it's easy, but God, when you get on a horse like that, it makes your life so much easier. Uh, Andrade fires it up after Fukuno's initial hit out. And he's galloping hard here. Well, he's left it behind him, but he's well backed up by Facundo on Shelty. Facundo opens his shoulder, cuts it into the middle. That ball's rolling, rolling, rolling. Nico Pires gets there and plays the, the near side backhand. Facundo tries to meet. Oh, great stuff. Alec White, though, gets involved here. Picked out of the air by Fac Andrade. Here's Lyndon Lee. Lyndon Lee. No, it's met by Nico Pires. And Cambiasso, my word. That, oh. Now, Cambias is taking a bit of a knock there, and it's Alec White who comes away with it, sends it downfield. Facundo's coming with him. And Rashid Albuadi getting upfield here. There's the pass. Rashid Albuadi against Matt Perry. Matt Perry's there for Zakara. Plays the near side backhand. Useful shot. Facundo meets it on Shelty. Plays the backhand, but that's charged down by Nico, and that ball's gone out of play. That was an amazing run of play. Here's. Facundo on Shelty, centering that ball beautifully. That was a really good save by Nico. It's a great save by Nico. I mean, he had more time than we, we made it. We hyped it up a bit, but it's a great shot. But it's a bit unfortunate that uh, Linden didn't get that score there. Zakara desperately defending here. Dubai on the attack. Andrade bringing that ball. We got a whistle. And I think, did Andrade go in front of Cambiasso there? Yeah, he did there. Uh, where Alec White takes the ball left on his near side. We'll see it there from Facundo. He sort of misses this backhand. There, Adolfo gets the hook on the backhand. That's why the shot wasn't as powerful as he thought. Alec White in the air, switches from offside to near side. There's the line change there. Andrade's not, well, yeah, he is and he isn't, but uh, for me, Adolfo is right on that right of way. So that's why it's going to be a 30 yard penalty in favor of Dubai. In comes Nico. No messing, straight through. 7-9 the score now. They've still got work to do. That's the final, that's the bell for the end of chucker number five. So 9-7 the score. This is so lovely to watch just uh, playing look, his penalties here. Look at the conditions though. Great weather, there's no wind, the temperature was perfect, and the field is in immaculate condition. So a two-goal game then going into chucker number six. Chucker number six about to get underway. The crowd really enjoying the action this afternoon. And Dubai facing a two-goal deficit here. They need to get their skates on. Peter Wright bowls the ball in. Facundo Pires picks it up here, turns it upfield. Cambiasso coming to try and apply the pressure. Facundo takes it out of the air. That's unbelievable. It's like a tennis racket. There's the cut shot towards goal now. Can he complete it? No! Oh, that's unfortunate. That was amazing, Chris. I don't think I've ever seen anybody ever do this. At full speed, the ball pops up. Most people just poke it or give it a slap down. But he does a proper tennis serve, but then he goes and misses the cut shot. Oh, he must be gutted. One of the best plays you'll see all season, all decade. Cambiasso now fires one to the front door, looking for Rashid Albuadi. 
for Rashid El Bouadi is beaten off there by Lyndon Lee, who plays the near side backhand, reinforced by Matt Berry. It bounces off Cambiasso's horse. Andrade is waiting for him there. Now Andrade needs to be careful here. He could get done for blocking. Cambiasso bringing that ball forward, gets a big bump. And Andrade gets the backhand, and Facundo's in the clear. Alec White in hot pursuit, but he hasn't got the horse for it. And uh, can, uh, Facundo is just away here. Now, can he convert this? He missed his last one, but this is looking a lot simpler. Grubby bounce, and Alec White's managed to hook him, and he's gone off the gone off the post, would you believe it? Nico Pires with the clearing backhand. And we've got a whistle on that play. Not really sure what happened there, Chris. What did you see? Well, we'll have a good look on the replay here. Facundo Pierre is just cool as you like. Normally finishes this off, but look at Alec White coming back, thundering back, gets the stick, hooks him. The ball comes off the post. Now look at the back end. There's the line straight back over Matt Perry's. Lyndon Lee's on the line. Andrade, obvious near side backhand, but he comes straight in front of Camille, so that's going to be moved up to a 5B. Oh, and it has been. So Adolfo Cambiasso bringing that ball forward here. Alec White and Matt Perry soaking each other up. Nico Pires trying to soak up Andrade. It's still Cambiasso coming forward. And oh, sends it around. Andrade coming back. We got a whistle. And I think Cambiasso may have taken done a bit of a knock there. Oh, crikey, yes, he has. That looked like Matt Perry's horse's hip. I'm not sure. We'll have a look at the replay but he is in a lot of pain. Yeah, you just see him taking the ball to the left of Matt Perry. Matt Perry looks over his shoulder, reaches back for the near side. Just comes in front, Cambiasso looks back. Oh, the horse is hit, just gets Adolfo on the side of the calf muscle, it looks like. Yeah, oh, my God. Or the knee, the... maybe. It's just... Anyway, it's got him away from his padding, that's for sure, and he is in a lot of pain. Yeah, that's just below the knee, that is. Here it is from another angle. Bringing that ball forward, Andrade trying to apply the pressure. Ouch. And then, as he tries to get off here, you can see he's got a... You said a dead leg, in effect. He can barely get it over the top of the horse. Well, that, uh, the, uh, the outside bone on the calf muscle, or your, or your lower leg, it's, it's very thin, and if you get that tiny little impaction... You know, I've had mine fractured before from a very similar bump in a ride-off. And uh, I know exactly how much pain it, it, can, it can cause, so, yeah. Back on his horse, and it'll be a penalty 5A, a hit from the spot in favour of Dubai. Now, they could well do with this. Cambiasso about to turn and get Dubai back on the attack. They still trail by two. In he comes, then. The tap shot forward. Now, what's he going to do with it now? Rest of his team trying to soak up the opposition to give him room for manoeuvre. Fires it! Oh, that's a huge drive. Lofted, but I'm afraid it's gone wide. Unfortunate. Well, you can't say that Dubai haven't had their chances. They've had two come off the post and stay in play. Adolfo's miss, this will be his second miss from a sort of a distancey shot, an 80-yard shot. He normally gets these every day of the week, but they've just gone wide. They haven't gone in his favour. So there's four goals there that they've missed opportunities on. Andrade now for Zakara. Cambiasso coming back. Andrade attempting the under the next shot. Didn't get much length on it. Cambiasso's there. Plays the little open backhand looking for Nico Pires. Ooh. And had Andrade turned onto that new line so quick? He had. I mean, the, the, the play where Nico Pires on the other end, inside that 30 yard zone. I think this is a poor decision from Cambiasso to play a little open backhand. Maybe he's trying to play it to himself, but he's underestimated the power and the horsepower that Andrade's got there. Nico Pires, he thought he was quicker than he was. I mean, it's a silly foul to give away, but I always thought. If you're in that position, crunch the backhand, get it away. You're losing. In comes Facundo. Nothing that uh, Dubai can do about that. And suddenly we've got a three-goal game. 10-7 the score in favour of Zakara. Let's just watch him take this penalty. Chris, talk us through it. Well, it's nothing to say, really. It's a 30-yard penalty. It's two mistakes that you've seen right in front of goal and then four missed goals, it's a six-goal spread and they're only losing by three. So I don't think Dubai have got anyone else to blame but themselves at the moment, but there's still a long time to go and we've got this man on the ball, he can make it happen if anyone can. 
but uh, Facundo plays the near side backhand and sends it back with interest. Now the first to come through is Andrade. He couldn't pick it up. Alec White with the backhand. And it's Cambiasso who sends it forward for Nico Pires. Nico Pires now bringing that ball forward. Andrade sitting in head, ahead of him. It's Cambiasso who now brings it through. Cambiasso through a lot of traffic. And we've got a whistle. And I'm not really sure what happened there. I think maybe Zakara were guilty of blocking, were they? Well, we'll have another look. But the, the umpires, they're very good now. They're playing advantage on there. There's the late bump. It looks like Facundo Perez with the late ride off there on Cambiasso. They let it go forwards. He's left the ball behind. The whistle goes. 30 yard penalty. Should be straight through. Nico Perez, Pony not helping. Oh, so he just lofts it. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't have to do that, but he did anyway. That well, pony was a little bit bouncy. There's there. nothing worse than when you're walking to a penalty, and it's only just in that top right flag. There's nothing worse than the horse just starts jogging and turning to the left, and you're going, oh my god. So. Two and a half minutes left, 10-8 the scoreline. Cambiasso, Matt Perry trying to apply the pressure. Cambiasso turning it around beautifully. The ground looking quite cut up. I have to say, the grounds throughout the Gold Cup have been amazing. Here comes Cambiasso. Oh, what a meet! Unbelievable! <laughs> Facundo steals it, and he's away. And nothing is going to get to him, you fancy. It's going out to the, to the left-hand side. Can he play the cut shot? Well, of course he can. And he thinks that it's all over bar the shouting. They're in a three-goal lead. That was incredible meet, Chris. I mean, you do not do that sort of thing. A, you don't do the tennis shot. B, you don't steal the ball off Adolfo Cambiasso like this. That's a meet and greet, snatched it off him. Adolfo has the, probably one of the best visions in the game, but now he's just been outdone. And it looked like a child taking candy off a baby. Unbelievable, look at this. Turning it in. <laughs> and look at his delight. There's the final bell, folks. 11 8 the score. It's been a cracking match, actually. We've really enjoyed some fabulous play, Chris. No, we certainly have. It's really good to watch it. The replays, it's just great to see. The field was great, the players are great, and I think the right score has, uh, has come out. 11 8 then in favour of Zakara. A great victory for Zakara. They had to beat the best to get there, but with another inspiring performance from Facundo Pérez, the result was rarely in doubt. Getting everybody to play the best game they can play on the day and trying to not make any heroes out of it. I mean, obviously, we've got Facundo, who's incredible, but you know everybody's working for the team and everybody's trying to play 95%, not 105. Uh, and if we do that, then we work well as a team. Um, and it's keeping it ice cold in the head and fire in the mallet and just keeping it calm. You know, if everybody just does their job, the team plays well together. That was really the story of today. Team Patron Lyndon Lee steps up to receive the beautiful gold trophy for Sakara. While it's no surprise that Facundo Pérez claims another MVP award. Facundo's pony, top model, is named as the best playing pony. What an amazing season it's been for Lyndon Lee Sakara. Winners of the US Open, the Queen's Cup, and now the Verve Clico Gold Cup. It's been another fantastic Gold Cup final to round off what has been an excellent British high goal season. Until next time, it's goodbye.